Saturday morning, pretty early, 6.30 or something like that. It rained last night. I don't have to work today, which is wonderful. And uh, I got a workbench to clean off. The boy's been up here doing a little project and he's kind of a slob. I don't know where he gets it from. I'm gonna begin by welding everything in place on the back side there. And then I'll proceed to, I don't know what you call them, the pinch welds on the rockers in the front there. It's not going to be too exciting or sexy, but hey, got it to do, so I'm going to get after it. All right, I've been working away. Seems like I overlooked that rusty spot. Anyway, I've got the, on that side, and the from the basically the door post that way, the floor pan welded to the rocker on top. Now I'm going to raise it up and I'm going to get that little hole squared away and weld that tow board to the floor pan right there. I went ahead and bought the tow board for the driver's side. That's $125. I was going to make it, but you know, time is money, they say a lot of times. But I'm going to patch this. <laughs> so, you figure out the rhyme or reason. Uh, I've still got to modify the front part of the transmission tunnel. You know, I had to raise it to fit the 4L80E. So, I still got some work to do, but I'm going I'm to keep after it. I'm going to work on the front side now. That's my plan. Oh, and the interior finally came in this week. So, I've got that. So, I need to, I need to double the hustle here. I've been kind of slack. I need to get, get cracking. Several people have asked me about this truck, which is full of stuff now. You know, I just kind of lost interest in it for a while. I'll get back to it. I've sold the dually, so I'm going to have to have this for my tow vehicle. So, you know, we'll see how things play out, but I need to get this car done. Need to get this one done. All right. I've got that leading edge pretty well welded in to board to the floor pan. I gotta make some patches here and then I gotta get up under here. I gotta make a cut like that and like that and then push this up so it meets the transmission tunnel there. You can see I need to clean up the back side of that and paint it. I'm going to cut this piece out and make a new one for that, I guess, once I get this piece pushed up. So I'm going to work on that now. Oh, when I drill these and weld them, what I do is I take like a 5 16 drill bit and I'll drill through all the way through one and just into the next piece. That, <clears throat> that takes the paint off and lets the welder burn into the next piece and then just plug weld it. It works pretty well. You don't drill it all the way through and then have to put a piece of copper on the back. Sometimes you gotta do that, but in this case, this works pretty good. Well, as you can see, I went hog wild and cut it all out. Hey, why not, right? So what I did was, let me get my thing unhitched there. I need a bigger shot. I had to dig, I had a piece of 18 gauge way back in behind that blue cabinet between the back of the blue cabinet and the wall which means I had to pull out the bandsaw and all to fish that out and then once I fished that out I realized it was too big for my little shear there that that one only will do 24 inches but I got a big well bigger four foot pexto out in another facility which is very hot. Holy moly. I'm drenched. But I did get this piece cut. I had to move some stuff, you know. You know how it is. But anyway, I got it cut. Probably been easier to just cut it with a pair of tin snips, but I didn't do that. Now I gotta make one of those. And we're not gonna worry about this because we're not gonna need to get to the bell housing. I think that's how you timed the old tooth 
two thirty or whatever it was was in them things when they came new. I was gonna use that right there. That's the front of a dryer I had to scrap a while back. That's twenty gauge, so I had the right thing. Might as well use it. All right, I just took that out to the break in another building. It's also very hot, and bent that lip. Now I've got to start bending this to uh, approximate that shape. That's what I got to do. I got and I got some shrinkers and stretchers. I just need to dig them out. Well, we're getting there in the shrinker. I put some marks on it so I can kind of keep track of where I'm at. But let me keep after it here. What are you lazy mongrels doing? Chewing on something. I wonder what that is. Let's see what you're chewing on here. Oh, it's a doggy treat. Carry on, as you were. We're starting to get the transmission tunnel deal shaped up here. You can see I was trying to do it equally, but somehow it wound up unequal. Hey, some things are more equal than others. Well, this is proving to be a tad more challenging than I imagined, but isn't that always the way? Anyway, I'm getting it. I ain't got it. I'm going to let this car down and crawl up inside there and do some slicing and dicing and some welding and, you know, all, all stuff like that. Here again, this is taking a lot longer than I anticipated it would. But I got the tool board roughed in. I'm going to screw it together and then trim to fit and weld it in, I guess. Make it fit my transmission tunnel there too, probably be a good idea. But it's getting there. It's got a long way to go though. So we gotta take the headliner out. Fix all that mess. Mm -hmm. It is hotter than blazes out there. But, since I cleaned all the filters in my air conditioners there, we're keeping it off. A comfortable 72 which still I still sweat like a like crazy when I'm working I guess cuz I'm a fat guy and the young man's been out here helping me he's got a lot taller than me now and he brought me a little hug so nice buddy he used to hug me all the time when he was a little guy but now he just brings them like this all right, let me show you here. I drill a hole through the one piece and just starting into the other. And then I'll spot weld it with the MIG welder. And that looks almost factory. Not that anybody really cares, I guess, but I do. And it uh, holds up nice and strong. And presently, I'm gonna put the big guy here. The big guy up in there and help me push down if I can get things welded up here. I haven't been videoing too much. I've been hard at it here. But I got the tow board pretty much welded in and that part of the um, transmission tunnel. That didn't turn out just like I imagined it, but whatever it does. Anyway, it's about 6.30. It's about time I quit this for the day, but I think I'm gonna do some welding right here for now anyway and then I'll call it quits